Hi, my name is Ellie, and in a series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use the features of Venomo Virtual Classroom. I hope you find this useful. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the media player in Venomo Virtual Classroom. The media player is synchronized, which means that when the host is playing an audio or video file, all participants are listening and watching it on their screen. The media player button is on the right side of the virtual classroom, just above the file library button. You can play a video from a YouTube or Vimeo link or audio and video files from your file library. Let's load a YouTube video first. Open YouTube in a separate tab in your browser and find the video that you want to play. We have already prepared one for the purposes of this video. Copy the link from the address bar, paste it here and press the plus button. The file is now uploaded in the media player and ready to be played. Let's now see how to play files from your Google Drive. You need to first upload them into the uploaded files box. Click on the paper clip to open it. Now you can import a multimedia file from your Google Drive. Choose import files, find and select the file you'd like to import and click on Add to Vedemo file library. You can also upload a multimedia file from your device. Click on Add files, choose Upload from the drop-down menu, find and select the audio or video files you need, then press Open. Now the files you've selected are uploaded on the server and converted to the required format. If you have the files already uploaded onto the file library, just click Add Files and select from the File Library option. Find and choose the file you want to add and click Import Files. When the file is loaded in the Uploaded Files box, a Play button will appear next to its name. Click on it and the file will be transferred to the media player. You may load on the media player as many files as you need, either from the file library, your device or from YouTube. They will appear in the playlist on the right. Click the file you want to play and then press the play button on the bottom left corner of the player. As the host of the online session, you can play, pause and stop audio and video files. You also have the option to fast forward or backward, turn the volume up or down while listening to or watching the file. The media player could be opened in full screen mode or in a separate window. There is also an option to hide the media player's box while you are playing an audio file, for example. Don't worry, this will not stop the file itself. The media player allows you to preload or quickly load files during the session and play them within the virtual classroom space. Adding audio and video files to your classes will make them even more engaging and interactive. Thank you for watching. You can also check the detailed step-by-step -step article in the description of this video. Happy teaching!